Welcome to the lesson partial variation. A quantity v is partly constant and partly varies inversely as the square of w if w is equal to 2 when v is equal to 14 and w is equal to 3 when v is equal to 9. Write an equation connecting v and w hence find v when w is equal to 6. So that is a question on partial variation. Let's go to the solution. So before we begin, I will choose the constants that I'm going to use because in partial variation, you normally use two constants. I will choose uh, the constants to use as A and B. So A and B will be my constants. So let us write this. A quantity V, V is partly constant, is partly constant. This is why I introduced the first constant. So A is partly constant and partly varies and you're going to add this partly varies inversely as the square of w so you introduce the second constant so b then inversely as the square of w inversely you have to put a division sign here it must come in the denominator inversely as the square of w that is w squared so that is how you write it. A quantity V is partly constant. That is equals to A is the constant. And connect this one with an addition sign. Varies inversely as the square of W. So B is another constant. Then inversely as the square of W divided by W squared. Now after writing that, now we can go to the next statement. If W is equals to 2, w is equals to 2 and v is equals to 14 so v is equals to 14 just substitute then the constants the constant will remain there b then w is 2 so w squared is 4. you notice that this one will form uh, an equation with two unknowns so you want to get rid of these are 4 multiply each of these terms by 4 so 14 times 4 you get 56 is equals to a times 4 you get 4a plus uh, this one b over 4 multiplied by 4 you get this one is b so this one will give the first equation that will be the first equation so after getting that equation we can go to the other one now and um, w is 3 when v is 9 so v is 9 do the substitution v is 9 then constant is there plus uh, b is constant then when w is 3 w is 3 so w squared is 3 squared which is 9 again multiply each term by 9 to get rid of this denominator here so this will give 9 times 9 you get 81 is equals to this is uh, a plus b over 9 times 9 you get b that so this one you get 9 sorry a times 9 you get 9 so if we're in that you're multiplying each term by 9 so this one by 9 this one by 9 and this one by 9 the other one we had multiplied this one by 4 this one by 4 this one by 4 so we'll be clear about that so now you have the second equation here so you can see now you have two equations you have can solve them simultaneously so let me bring the the other equation there so 56 is equals to 4a plus b so that is equation one so you can use any suitable method to solve this i always use uh, elimination you can see b is uniform so to eliminate b i will subtract so it one subtract 56 this will give uh, 25 is equals to 9 subtract 9a subtract uh, 4a you get 5a then b minus b is 0 so a will be 5 that is the first uh, constant and after getting a is equals to 5 now you can substitute here in this equation 81 81 is equals to 9a so 9 times 5 a is 5 that will give 45 is equals to no, plus b so it's not equals but uh, this is a plus b 
like that so here b is equals to uh, this will be give that six so now you have the two constants you have a and b so therefore the equation you can now write the equation the equation now having to put the uh, the constants so v is equals to a is 5 then plus b is 36 divided by uh, w squared that is the relationship connecting v and w now the question is find v when w is 6 so when w is 6 so what will be v so you just get v is equals to 5 plus 36 then w is um, 6 or so 6 squared this will be 36 simple as that so when you work out these uh, you'll get a v to be given by 5 plus 36 over 36 that is uh, 5 plus 1 and this will give 6 that is uh, basically Simple. Simple. how you're supposed to Simple. solve that question. Thank you.